Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll show how to install RabbitMQ on Mac OS using Homebrew Package Manager. First, we will we'll just check if Homebrew is already installed. Opening terminal and running command brew slash v for version. I have it installed, version 2.0. Point one, which is the latest version. If you don't have it installed, go to brew.sh website and copy this command, installation command, and run into in your terminal. But if you have already installed, just in case, if you have different version, which is not latest, run brew update to get the latest version. And then, now we're ready to install RabbitMQ running command brew install RabbitMQ. Oh, obviously, I already have it installed, but I just run this command one more time. But if you don't have RabbitMQ installed, it will take a couple of seconds to install RabbitMQ as well as with this command it will uh, install all required dependencies Erlan, everything what is needed as well it, it will install manage plugin enable manage plugin for RabbitMQ what uh, it is UI for RabbitMQ where you can easily manage your exchanges, queues, users, and this kind of things, as well as uh, monitor your queues and everything like that. So, and we have two options to run Rabbit. It's in, in background or not in background. So let's first run it's not in background. So we will need there are also um, two options. You can just navigate to the folder with RabbitMQ server <coughs> command, or you can just run it right here where you are. Slash user local slash has been slash rabbit. MQ server. So I run this command. So it started Rabbit and the broker started. And now, just to easily check, I can go to my web browser and open Management UI, which is when you install and first you will see there will be in terminal in a message saying where it is started. So it is as usually local host port one five six seven two. So it is and default username and password is guest guest guest. You can change it later. Um, I'm a guest, which is guest. So here you are. Um, not now. So we started RabbitMQ, and there is another way to start in background. Stop this, and to start in background, we will need to run brew services start rabbit in queue um, I have started but with this command it will start oh let's uh, learn another command stop You. So I'll stop it. So and start again with this start command. So 
started uh, i was disconnected already here and now i'm connected again because i started so it's running in the background so i can do that so it was the easy and quick way to install rabbit in q on your mac os so thanks for watching leave me comments like subscribes and see you in my next video bye